Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and this, as you can see, is a table full of fantastic field notes items. Now, well, I don't know where to begin. Um, I'll say first of all that these are the Field Notes Expedition books and I think these are worthy of their own video, so check out my other videos for an upload and a quick look at these. Um, also, just a nice touch to come through with the delivery, a little Field Notes badge there. And, well, now we are left here with what is known as the kit that you can see on the website, uh, fieldnotesbrand.com, as you will see on the pens and pencils. Um, and basically, the kit is their sort of general purpose, covering all bases uh, selection of items. And, well, let's have a look what we've got here. So, we've got six number two pencils, we've got six click pens, six field notes band of rubbers, a pack of three graph paper memo books, a mixed pack of three books, so that's graph, ruled and plain paper, and then two steno books. And, well, I don't know really where to start. I suppose we'll dive in and have a closer look at the pencils. So, if I pop these out here... Well, it's got to be said, I like the, well, the thing with all the field notes, I suppose, you can see they've got a very sort of perfect minimalist look to them, very strong branding, which I'm a big fan of, and, well, as you may know, if you're a follower of my notebook videos, I do love minimalism, and, well, I suppose we'll have a closer look at these, I'll open the pens as well, and we'll have a closer look at them, I'll test my steady hand when holding these up to the camera, and once again, having a look at the pen here, you can see, we've got just... Field notes in white and the website and, well, the rest. Nice plain black, silver and white. Lovely jubbly. So, as we have a closer look, please excuse my unsteady hands. And, well, like I say, you can see nice simple plain design, black on white, silver finishings, just the logo and the website. And if we fetch a pencil up now, once again, please bear with my shaky hands. I quite like the um, just plain wood and the unusual green rubber on these. As you can see, this is the number two pencil. Have a look down. If I can get that in focus a bit better. And well, I will let you pause and read that. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's dive back in with the rest of what we've got on that table. So, one of the things I think is quite interesting are these band of rubbers. And as you can see, it's a black and white uh, design rubber strip that's like a very thick elastic band, I suppose you could say. And obviously, well, being a very thick elastic band, you can use it for just, well, anything you want, really. Um, they've got various suggestions, such as um, clipping it around the books and keeping money in it. And um, what I think, and I'll demonstrate it after, is one of these around the middle of one of these books pen and a pencil down the middle, keep it all together whether it's in your bag or in your pocket or whatever. And I've got a feeling that these are the sort of things that I'm going to end up finding an awful lot of completely random uses for on board my little boat Tilly. So let's dive in and have a look at some notebooks. I think we'll go for the graph paper ones first. I'll just crack these open here, very carefully. Well, just a nice little 360, as people always seem to um, notice when I don't do one. If we slide this off. Well, here are your Field Notes notebooks. Now, these, as you can see from the front, they are self-explanatory and helpfully um, say, Outright Field Notes 48-page memo book. Durable materials made in the USA. And flip the back, uh, around to the back. And we've got just a nice little bit of general information. All minimalist, lovely jubbly. A back cover, we've got a few bits of information. And, well, if we have a look, we've got actually an awful lot more in here than I was expecting. <laughs> that caught me off guard a little bit. So I will just let you have a quick look at the inside there and the inside back cover. It's got to be said, there's a lot more in here than I was expecting. And, well, as you can see, Nice bright white pages, um, these are the graph books, so, well, as you can imagine, it's squared paper. Uh, nice rounded edges, it's got a certain sort of, I don't know, 
a good feel about it. Like you say, I mean, I love minimalism and just sort of nice, high-quality looking things anyway. But these, I think, well, there's just something about it. There's something about bold lettering, all capitals, and very little else on the page. Anyway, I'm going to stop, um, I don't know, fantasising over notebooks. And I suppose we should have ourselves a look very quickly at the other set. And as I say, this is the mixed set of three. So that's graft, lines and blank. And any video you've seen my other videos will know that I'm a big fan of writing on plain paper. So let's dive in once again. And as you can see, it's all the same minimalist design that we've just seen. And if we pop these open, that is the graph one. Put that on the pile. A lined paper, as you can see you've got a, a double line at the top and the top margin there. And then, now this is something that I quite like, the lines are very faint. Um, as you may see with some things, they're like sort of very thick black bold lines. These are quite light in colour and, well, as you can see, pretty faint, which is definitely a plus in my book. Well, literally in my book. <laughs> and then, obviously, the plain book here. And, well, as you can imagine what we're going to see, some nice plain pages. Um, it's got to be said, these pages don't feel too thin at all, so that's always a bonus. And, well, once again, well, I suppose we've still got more stuff to get through. I don't want this video to rack up to a huge amount of, I don't know, an 80-minute epic saga of notebooks. But if we have ourselves a final look now at the steno book, so you can see this is an 80-page steno book, uh, Greg ruled paper, durable materials, durable o-wiring at the top there. If we flip it around to the back here, you can see once again, nice plain back, nice minimalism all the way through the brand. And, well, if I can cunningly get into this, a nice little slit to the top there. I'm impressed by that, you can tell. And, well, here we go. It's um, First thing I'll say here, um, this cardboard feels very solid. It's a lot stiffer than the cardboard on the um, smaller books here. So obviously if you're going to be carrying this around and making notes on the move, having like a solid surface in the notebook itself is instantly a bonus there. So if we flip this up, once again, you've got a good selection of writing there. Once again, catching me off guard and they... Um, Stenography, I believe, is that shorthand. Um, journalists out there, please correct me. And it looks like you've got a very quick um, guide and well, demonstration of what it is. And well, as you can see here, we've got the rather interesting addition of a line separating straight down the middle. And well, that's a common theme throughout the entire book. And well, it's got to be said once again, nice bright pages, um, very uh, thin and uh, faint lines, so that's always a bonus in my book, like I say. Something that's worth noting here, like I say about the um, thick cardboard back, obviously once you flip this book open, the cardboard front is added to the cardboard back, making it even more a solid surface for writing. So I've already uh, think that I've picked up on a very good book here to take out and do some writing when I'm out and about, on the various walks up and down the canal. So this has been an incredible haul of field notes stuff, as you can see. Um, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out my other videos, as these will um, get more videos in the future. And like I say, we've still got the rather nice-looking uh, field notes expedition set here to have a look at. And well, my goodness me! Make sure you subscribe. Check out my other videos. Uh, check out fieldnotesbrand.com for a load more stuff like this. And well, until the next time, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around soon. Farewell.